Okay, so now we're going to go into postures. We've already described what the thorns were, and everything is so connected that it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to pull out all the thickets to see the clearing place in my own head sometimes, in my own heart, because everything is just it's so overwhelming, so broad, so deep. Well, and, and on thorns, where they wrote it as thorns, and it's actually pastures, is that what we're going into next? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just only thing, observation. It's Zadi Vav Zadi. Zadi Vav, yeah. So it's the twin desires. Yes. The desire of mother and father. Yeah. That are well, connected. So I just, just first look. Cursory yeah. glance. Well, actually, even in that, when you look at it, that's a strong noon, too. Yeah, it's so, a double noon. So it would be, hey, noon, noon, ayin. Zadi Vav Zadi. Zadi Vav Zadi. Right, so there's a lot of doubling going on in yeah, that. Yeah, it is, and it's the two spiritual paths that have become one, yeah. which is the seed of life. So you can sprout and shoot forth as an heir and this to is, the throne. This is Ubakal, so this would be completed, like completed, completed. I mean, this one is completely filled up. Um, so the whole process, I believe why they did this is that the thicket, and, and the pastures, it almost seems like there's a separation, but it's not, because the thicket is, is again, what we're building, and this is how we can make the offering to cross over. And um, so I wanted to go into the pastures, and, and it's uh, strong 5097. And now we have double laments. And we also have double noons. It's another strong noon in that you're going to have probably flip-flopping in yours because they did it in the computer as well do you have it as how do you have it i have 5097 as nahalel nahalel yeah but i think that's interesting because hallel mm -hmm. is the beginning of hallelujah and it means to shine right and it's right in the next it's actually in its root because it's nahal but Right. Um, and there's only one occurrence, and it's in this verse. But I wanted to show you. So we we're just talking about the double. There's also a double noon in this in this usage. Yeah. That it's got a strong digesh in that. So it would be hey noon noon hey lamed lamed yod mem. So we have the revelation of mother and father there. Yeah. And th between the pieces again, the two seeds of life that have become one. Right which is the spirit path, and then we have the two lameds, which is the pattern of the cherubim on the top of the Ark of the Covenant. Right. That face each other, the two teachings of light, so that you can become Yom, Yod Mem of the sea, which is symbolism of Asherah. Right. Just to connect pieces here. So this is from, it's rooted at 5095. I'll pull that up here. Nahal. To sparkle, to flow. Exactly. Um, and now we have noon risen in the revelation, or risen as the breath, as the lament. So this would be, you're risen as the revealed one, um, and you're brought forth into rest, because it's in the language, but you're at a, you're at a watering hole. Like, this is somewhere like, and again, think of, we're looking to build the ayin, um, the eye, and so this is in the place you're partaking of information that is, the teacher is the teacher of light, lament mem dalet. And so you're drawing yourself out of the lower waters and going into the higher waters. And this is the waters that we're going to be drinking of. That's the watering place, is the, is the hidden waters of Father's Mem, uh, the sealed Mem, because we've been drinking of the open Mem of Mother, and the bitter to the sweet. And this is how we flow. This is very interesting. So it's flow, but you have... I, when I look at the con, a conduct or mm -hmm. conduct... Mm -hmm. It's the flow that is going through you that is meant to protect and to sustain you. Right. Yeah, we're we're conductors of something when we're correctly aligned with our frequency. <laughs> we we are connecting yeah. rods that. Uh, this that is Psalm twenty three, the twenty third Psalm. He leads me beside beside still waters. Still water. Yeah, we we I have that in here. That's incredible. Yeah, and it's actually interesting. It's Noach. Yeah. The, rest. It's the rest. That's the still waters. Yeah. 
Wow. I have it in here. It's pretty cool. So it's manna, memnoon, to be part of rest. Yes. When you connect to the frequency signature of the covenant of love. Yeah. That is when you've entered in rest. Yeah, that whole verse is wow. it's a powerful little verse, but when you see it through these lenses, it's an incredible verse to see what now you can resonate to the frequency of what the still waters are. And right. you saw that, right? That that word, it's yod noon, hey lamed, no, no, noon yod. Right. It's literally the reverse, yod noon and noon yod. Right. Front and back in the middle of it is hey lamed, to reveal the light, to reveal the teachers of light. To reveal the teachers of light, absolutely. The power of mother through her spirit path will release the spiritual path of father that give you the power of love. Yeah, and this is the pasture. So we're working on the wow. pastures right now that you've entered now the watering hole and you're entering the water. So I want to break down pastures a little bit and then we're going to extrapolate out on this because the thicket and the pastures, of course, you become the offering. And we're going to talk about the ascension process and and uh, and what we're doing. Um, but let's go, let's just break down pastures first. So I want to go into... The word, um, uh, go to 4999, of course. Of course it is. Okay. And you can see that it's habitation, house, pastures, the pleasant place. And I want you to look at all 12 occurrences. Pastures of the wilderness. It should have all have a vav, all of tav added to the end of them, every occurrence. All of tav, all of vav tav. Every yeah, so every single occurrence, wow, that, so for people that don't know what that is, that is literally the word ot, which means sign, signal, beacon, miracle. And what is that? It's the path of the olive through the tav, and you've been connected in your heart through the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the first letter and the last letter. Yep. So, this is now that Vav Alev Tov that we saw in Genesis 1 1 on the outside. That Vav is now moved to the inside, making, making you a miracle. Yeah, you're completely filled up and you're a miracle. Now you're a sign and a wonder. And that's pretty cool. So, and it's directly connected to the pasture. And of course, it's the quadrated mm -hmm. that are 999 instead of the 666. Totally flipped. 12 occurrences. You can also see this in this word as 4999. When we say a habitation in a house, it's, it, you've, you've come home. You've reached the dwelling place. You've reached the completion of, and you're home now. You're no longer here. You are here maybe working, but you are home now. You've made it home. And that's interesting because the very first occurrence has a bet in front of it. Yeah, you, you, so it has a bet, Tov. We have a tendency... Which is house. We have a tendency home. to um, separate ourselves from the experience. And, like, and, and I do this myself, so I point my fingers back to me until I started becoming a little bit more um, just disciplined in what I'm seeing and taking it inwardly to say, I'm speaking to myself here. And, and Because when I, when I spend time on the page, it becomes a really an outward thing. But really what it is, is I'm, I'm seeing that you've, you've now come home. Like, welcome home, son. You built it in the experience. So we need to remember that, that you're, you're home when you see this. So in the 23rd Psalm, pastures. So when he leads us to these pastures means he leads us home. Right. But go, we have to build it. Go to the root of that word, 4999. It should be 4998. Yeah. And it says to be home. Properly to be at home. Right? To be befitting. And look at all the occurrences. There's only three occurrences. Psalm, Songs, and Isaiah. It also means to be beautiful. So, And we've already talked about that, right? Beauty for Beauty ashes. Beauty for ashes. And so again, we don't need to go in this, but I just wanted to show you that this is the house of holiness. This is now the Kodesh Kodeshim, the set apart, set apart. Um... You've now becometh, right? You now be fitted. You're now adorned and bedecked in love as lovely. You are now beautified. And um, may I point something out? Yeah. Ava. Yeah. Love. Ava. 
Desire. Desire. That's also a gematria for to breathe, mm -hmm. which is connected to Kadosh Holy. So, Lebayit, with the cough, they've poured out everything. They poured out everything in the process of becoming. In, in the, which would be the drink offering. Absolutely. Um, it's everything. It's the love offering. It's um, Again, I don't even know, like in the frequency of breaking down the animals, the animals were frequencies. They might have been doing it back in that day, but I can see the frequency of representation of what we're to become. So I just want to give you a little glimpse into building home, because we've already established that in, in thorns and thickets, you're building the tabernacle. You're building the representation of what it is in the earth, and it's directly connected to, to, to a dwelling place. We've already established that. Well, and yod heh vav -He at the end now has a diamond above it. Right. That's not a normal occurrence That's of that. That's not a normal thing. So this means a gift, a gift from God or a gift of God are the houses that have emptied themselves out, that have beautified themselves. They are the beautiful as the holy. Right. Through the teachings of yod heh vav -He. Right. Mother and Father, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine becoming one yeah so let's go to another word for pastures real quick go to 4829 please and we talked about drips and drops about distillation of the mar and the bitter and we're building this thing so this is a <laughs> pasturage and a pasture pasture in the sense of feeding and it has the added added men right Let's just walk this through and see what this is. So let's just take it to 7426 in the sense of feeding. So you can see that Ra'a is really, that Ma'ra, ma it's the mother that now has broken into pieces. You become, one is now dripping and dropping as mother. Because really in that first word, 4829, the pasture is the place is, is becoming, you are now dripping and dropping as Mar, as the bitter, as an adversary, but you're now breaking into pieces. Now you're tending the flock. It's both ways. It points both ways. You're to become this, and as soon as you become it, turn and be a reflection of what you became to then teach and mold in the likeness and the similitude of. So depending on where you are, which way is the finger pointing, in which direction are you walking? So when Yeshua said, I now call you friend. Right. So, so he was basically saying, I am telling you that you are now a shepherd. Well, let's go see what exactly, yes. And so when you're a shepherd, you so now you're one that's broken into pieces. And it says in this word, by extension, to associate with as a friend. It's right in its own definition, right? Yep. yep. Okay, so go to 7462A. Well, that's interesting. Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> All right. And then let's go to 7462B. Mm -hmm. And then let's go to 7462C. A special friend. A special friend. And that word is rooted in 7463B. So 7463 is friend. Right. So I'm just connecting it through. So crazy. Right. Also is evil and misery since duality. So now we have a special friend. So now you've been called friend. You're no longer a servant. Now you're called friend because now you're assisting in the measure and you've turned and you're pointing in the bitter drops or mother's measure, however you want to look at it. You're giving distillation in drips and drops. So another one can become exactly what you've become because one has already showed you the way of becoming. And so that's what this is saying right here. This is the waters. 